Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, everyone. Dr. Jason Turdy here back with another live reaction to Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War, episode 34, titled Baby Hold Your Hand. So I wonder, um, what kind of episode is this? Uh, who's, who, who's the main focus? Because I don't even remember. Did we see a preview from last week? I don't know. Either way, uh, we know uh, Grim Jow and Uryu. Or I'm sorry, God, Uryu. No, no. Grim Jow and Askin are about to face off. Um, who else is about to like wreck each other? Um, I don't know. The sniper guy. Uh, I again, his name's escaping me. I know you guys were telling me in the comments last week. Uh, <laughs> but he's picking off the Shinigami one at a time. Um, and yeah, I'm sure this week's episode is going to be really, really good. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. If you guys enjoyed the video, excuse me, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and be sure to click that bell icon so you do not miss a video when we go live next time. Let's not waste any more time. Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War, episode 34, underway in 3, 2, 1. Ba bams That's right. Renji got out of commission. Which you guys informed me. Like, this is this was new. This was all new, which is freaking awesome, man. I love seeing this. We love new content in Bleach. This guy, this guy. Wait, is he aiming at Uryu? What? Oh, maybe just keeping track. Just be like, mm, I don't trust him. What if he lets him live? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh. Oh, God. What? What is that? <laughs> Why is he talking all this smack, man? Leave him alone. Just swing your sword. All right. Let's see what we have here. Oh. Oh, is that his? Oh, okay. Okay, he hesitated. Okay. Zoraki. He got a scratch on his on his on his hand. He lost it. I cracked its head open. Okay. Okay. Um. Mm. So he can't sw How is he holding the sword still? I mean, it, it, it's it's Kenpachi. It's Kenpachi. I would expect no less. Oh God. Ugh. What was this guy's name? Pernita, right? Per per Pernita, I think that was its name. I love this pairing. I love this pairing, man. This this, this fight's gonna be so funny. This fight's gonna be so funny. All right, that's just like a little preview of you know what we're already gonna see. Um, another match again, guys. Another match. I don't remember. I don't remember the Kempachi and uh, Mayuri team up. Indeed. Always, always. Are they just observers in all this? Oh! Oh, he twisted it back! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, wait, is, wait, is he doing that? Or... No, that's not him. That's not him. That's not him. Oh! Oh, he actually tore it off? Oh, 
Oh my god. He said it's just an arm. Who cares? Oh my god. If he hadn't made that decision. Oh, was it contorting up so that his whole body, his whole body would have been affected? Okay, Frieza. We got to figure something out. Okay. Show me the way. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. He's trolling him now. He's going to lose that other arm, man. It, oh, oh, no. Oh, not the legs. Oh, no. This, oh, oh, whoa, hey, oh. Okay. What's that about? Is he, is he gonna contort? Okay, okay. What's going on? Just the limbs only leads to the other parts breaking. Mm. Fear level four. Yeah. Ah! Oh, me oi! Why'd you do that? Fear level four. Okay. Hmm. Specific strength. That is. Ooh. Slip your helmet into one his body. Oh, kind of like a like a fun guy. Quenches generation of power into their veins. Okay. Can manipulate other parts of the body's generation. Except fear itself, fear your own world. Whoa. Ooh, that's the first time we heard him cry. Oh, he's actually in pain. He's... Take my time and join. Is he even looking at him? <laughs> He's not even looking at him, though. Okay, okay, now he is. Now he is. Mm. Did you help me activate the enemy's power? I mean, was he going to be able to stop him, even if that wasn't the case? And he never will. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. What'd that mean, though? What'd that mean, though? Heavy price. Thank you very much. What is it? 
I'm surprised this guy's letting him monologue for this long. Noble set three dollars. Okay, he's still flinching a little bit. Of course, of course. Ooh. He does not. Ooh, hello. Oh God, he's inflating. Is he a hand? Oh, oh, I remember. He's the hand, right? The the other hand, I think, right? What? Okay, I, I vaguely remember. I, as soon as I saw him inflating, I was like, wait, isn't he the opposite hand? Yes, yes, he's the opposite one. Okay. Okay. I vaguely remember this. I don't remember the result. I don't know how he defeats him, but once I saw him growing, I'm like, wait a minute. It's coming back. It's coming back. So that's the left hand. Mm. Are they just gonna stare? <laughs> mm. This big pressure is almost identical. Mm. Right, right. That was with the right arm. This one's this one's the left. Where are his legs? Mm, right. Looks like a Sonic the Hedgehog type of eye where it's all like one in one unison. Oh God, <laughs> why is it screaming? Serving your watch. That is the question. I don't remember the answer. And again, that question is trivial. Jo Ooh, it's talking. That is, he just has those umbrellas that are. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, do you see him stressed out? He has it all under control. Every expectation. Atta boy. Oh, hello. Show me more. Uh, uh, left arm, not an A. <laughs> me, lefty. I don't know. What? What? What is it? Or, or, or is he gonna say, per, yeah, Pernita, Pernita. Yeah. Mm. You didn't discover yourself, I did. Call me Christopher Columbus. <laughs> That's your request. I can make a better for this time. Mm. Babbling. Usually insult. I mean, compliment him. Let's see how he reacts. Co oh. Unforgivable. Ooh. Oh, another hand. Okay. Oh, okay. Grappling hook, extendo arm, go, go, gadget. Oh, another hand. It, it, it's just hands, it's straight hands. All right, Spider-Man, where, where are you going to next? 
Whoa, hello. Sandwich. Oh, okay. He dodged it indeed. Oh, is this where he takes off the cloak? Is, is this where he's gonna hold it? Take it off? Take it off? Pernida. Oh, what? Oh, okay. We're going to Basby. Oh, Schwartz. Mm, good luck with that. All right. You could try. Actually, weren't they there last week? W weren't they watching this whole fight in the last episode? All right. Now he's going to get serious. Get that absurd cloak out of here. Oh. Go, go, gadget, reishi, hover boots. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, he got it from... Okay, interesting. You spread your nerves at the ground. Me oh wow why does he look like that? Oh no Sample has plan. Ooh, he got a finger. Alright, well, is it gonna stay there? Oh, preservative there okay. It it'll stay now. Oh wow. Did the finger grow an eye? Ooh. Oh, man. Okay, he felt that a little bit. What the hell? The arrangement of my nerd bubble is a millisecond. In a millisecond? How? <laughs> uh, that's our goat, man. That's our goat. That's our goat, Kodosuchi. Oh, my God. Mm, he kind of shed a tear a little bit. It was kind of painful. Embarrassing. Mm, okay. He's sprinting. Let's see it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, man. We just don't question it. He's not an option. Mm. Oh, he ripped up his own finger. Oh, he's going to make multiple hand clones. Multiple hand clones. Oh, this guy's so dumb. Right hand controls stillness. And left hand controls advancement. Okay. Knowledge. To be able to experience both in possession like this. Subarashi indeed. Oh, triple arm. Right? Where's the other one? Yeah. Here we go. Whoa, no, that's like the baby one, right? Right, that was his traditional bankai. So what's the difference here? Ooh. It's uh oh, he's he's growing the baby. He's growing the baby. Okay. Do he was born? Oh! Oh my lord! So the baby's fully and oh, an altered bunkai. 
is a uh, variant. Okay. He altered his bunkai. His ability to give birth to a new Ashiki. Interesting. I don't remember that part. You understand. So he has a bankai to suit his specific needs in a certain fight. Oh, oh god, what's coming out of it? Oh, okay. Ooh. Traditionally, that's what we usually see, the golden baby. Inside of its body. Damn. Yeah, the nerves are on the outside. That's it. His bankai is pure horror, man. God, what is wrong with Kunazuchi? Those nerves on its exterior. Mm hmm. Even if you fire your nerves into it, come back on that. Okay. Nani. I mean, what's he gonna do? Oh, oh God, it's moving. Ah, get over here. Oh, he's gonna eat him. He's straight up eating him. Hey, they're like churros. They're like churros. Oh no. They're gonna be swallowed. God damn. RIP. RIP to Pernita. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, bro. <laughs> hey, that, that's a wrap, I guess. Is <laughs> what he does. Oh, no. <laughs> Monkeys! <laughs> Baby, hold your hand. Oh, my God, man. We love Kodosuchi. Let's see what the poem is. I mean, the poems really don't do anything for us. It's just, uh, ooh, look at that. He wrote something. Pine needles scatter over a glistening bright red. Correct. Correct. Uh, don't chase a shadow. That will be next week's episode. Um, great episode of Bleach, as we all expected. Um, I'm gonna be honest. So, so I think this is what happened, right? Because I always like trying to compare what I remembered from when I was reading the manga when they were coming out weekly, and, and to where we are right now in the anime. Like, what parts do I remember? What parts do I don't uh, remember? And I think this is where I got confused with the Kempachi and Mayuri pair up. Um, I, I was saying I didn't remember them going, you know, matching up together against, um, a Stern Ritter. I don't remember that bit. Um, so I was like kind of excited, like, wait, is this kind of like new content? Are they going to like, you know, the, the, are they going to pull like pinky in the brain type of stuff where it's like the dummy, but the strong one and the smart one, but the slightly weaker one. I, I mean, Mayuri is strong as hell, but. Are they going to do some Beauty and the Beast type of shit where they're both paired up to fight against this guy? And I thought they were going to have equal screen time or whatever. So that's why I'm like, I, I don't remember that from the manga. And it makes sense why I don't remember it because Kenpachi just, <laughs> he gets eliminated very quickly. I don't remember the thing where he lost an arm. Um, Unfortunate. Uh, I didn't know he was going to get maimed in this episode. Um, but because of his nature, he ultimately loses or gets, you know, he gets sidelined because of how Kenpachi is and Mayori in his own twisted way, saving him from his own demise is how he gets put out of commission. So that, that's the reason why this is really, really a Mayori versus Pernita fight. Kenpachi was kind of like the, Kenpachi was the Vegeta of this episode uh, and what I mean by that is, you know how Vegeta, he's never the one to like actually beat the main villain. He's usually the one there to dive in head first to gauge how strong that whatever villain he's fighting is. So that way, when the main character like Goku, Gohan, whatever, when they come in to save the day, it's like, okay, 
Vegeta tested what your limits were. We know all your tricks. Now it, the real fight begins. That was Kenpachi's role in this episode. He was there to just showcase th the, this is what this guy can do. Be careful around him. Okay, now it's my Yuri's turn. He's the one that's going to have the 1v1. So I think that's why I, I, I did not recall these two fighting each other. But I do remember Pernita having a fight. And once Pernita started inflating, that was where I, like, it was like a, a floodgate was open. I knew immediately, wait a minute, there was another giant hand in this, uh, in the manga when we were reading it. Uh, and, and it was on Yawatch's side. Um... And of course, we know it's the opposite hand, the opposite hand to the right arm, the Mimihage or Mamihage, whatever it's called, the one with Ukitake. His was the right arm. This one was the left arm. Uh, still questioning as to why the left arm is even helping, um, you know, you'll watch. I, I don't remember if they ever gave an explanation in the manga. Maybe they'll give one here. They, they didn't do it in this episode, from what I recall. Um, so yeah, we don't have that here. But uh, again, Kurosuchi, he he's always in control. He, he always is one step ahead of his opponents. Um, so that's always fun to see. He's just trolling this, this entity um, and just toying with him, trying to figure out how he, how he can collect a sample. That's his whole deal here. That is his whole deal here. Doing his little Spider-Man impression on this side. I don't even know why they showed Baz B and, and, and these other Stern Ritter here. I, I I kid you not, I think we got the same camera angle and the same poses from last week where they're still talking on top of these buildings. I'm pretty sure we got that last week. So it's like, guys, are, 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 are you just observing the fights? Is that what you're doing and waiting for an opening? Or what? what's the goal here? I, I know you want to get Hoshwal and you watch, but like, when? When are you going to make your move? You know? So... Either way, either way, um, fun fight. And obviously the, the Bunkai thing, I mean, you knew that Kurosuchi had to have a new Bunkai or some, some new variation of it just because you knew that the whole poison spreading thing was not going to be enough to defeat Pernita, but, um, we got a slightly altered Bankai. This guy just experiments on everything. So I imagine in every fight that he goes into, he's always going to have a slightly altered Bankai based on the data he puts into it during the fight. So in this specific instance, he needed a Bankai. He needed his sword to actually compensate for whatever Pernita was doing with the whole thing about injecting the nerves into the body. So he had his Bankai like reverse it where the nerves are on the outside. Per, uh, Kurosuchi's Bankai is just straight up horror. It always was. It always was. It, it, when he first used his Bankai back in, um, I, I think he used it in Soul Society. I'm pretty sure he did. Um, when we saw that baby, it's like, dude, like, what, what is that? Why does he have that? Why is he the only one that has a spooky Bankai like that? It, it, it was always so absurd. It was always so absurd. But, um, yeah, no, uh, this guy is, uh, shady. He's shady, he got an altered Bankai, and then the, the golden baby swallowed Pernita, and I'm, I'm guessing the fight's over. I, I don't recall there being a part two, but then again, I don't remember the fight all, all too well. Um, so I don't know if the fight's over now. Kurosuchi seems very confident right now. Um, so I, 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 I want to say it's over. I want to say it's over. As to what matchup we're getting next week, assuming there's no part two to this fight, I it, it's anyone's guess. It's anyone's guess. Maybe it'll be um, the Baz B stuff. Maybe that'll pick up. But, I mean, they didn't really hint at anything in this episode. Well, actually, no, 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 no. They, the sniper, the sniper. Maybe, maybe we'll get the sniper matchup next week because they did show him aiming at more of the, the Soul Reapers. So maybe, and again, I... His name starts with a B, I think. La, La Bera? La, La, La Bero? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I, I don't know why certain Stern Raiders, I remember their names and other ones I don't. I, I remember Askin. I remember Gerard. I remember uh, Pernita. Uh, that's it. At, at, out of out of the remaining people loyal to um, uh, to your watch. Those are the ones that I remember. But we'll see what happens next week. Let me know what you all think down in the comments below. How did you like this episode of Bleach? Um, 
did you want a 2v1 where Mayuri and Kenpachi had to play off of each other for the entirety of the fight and not necessarily put Kenpachi out of commission within the first 20 seconds? Uh, I, I think that would have been a more entertaining fight, in my opinion. Uh, the fight was still good. We always like seeing Mayuri get glazed up in any fight that he's in, but I, I think you have a much more funny and engaging fight with like twists and turns if you have Kenpachi and Mayuri playing off each other in the entire fight. Because, you know, you don't really get 2v1s. You don't really get 2v1s all that often in Bleach. It's usually, you know, 1v1. You're... Your, your Dragon Ball, right? Yeah, the, your Goku versus Vegeta. Your Piccolo versus Android 17. It's always mano y mano. It's never, hey guys, we're both powerful. Let's, you know, buddy up and tag team this one character. Maybe it happens once or twice, but majority of the time, it's never, you know, a team up. That would have been nice to see, you know, final arc. One last, you know, um, synergy thing that Kubo could have experimented with, but... Either way, good episode, good episode. Um, they need to explain how that arm is working for Yawaj. Hopefully they do. And uh, and yeah, that's about it, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is uh, Mayuri's Bankai the most horrific Bankai in all of Soul Society? Because it, it just grows grotesque every time we see it. It grows... It, it's straight horror. It's straight body horror. Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like as well helps the video on the youtube algorithm so really appreciate it um subscribe if you're new to the channel and be sure to click the bell icon so you do not miss an update whenever we upload new content and we'll catch you on the next one dja signing off see you next time